All right. Me and Trevor. See if he's on. Let's go, Trevor. Oh, shit. Try again. What is going on? We'll be taking her home in no time. Wow. You know, I've been a surgeon for a long time. It's rare that I get to experience something new. I don't have another account to go there and tell him. Well, maybe now you want to send every pregnant woman who walks into the ED up to the feet. Touche. That's on the record I'm not afraid of bulbs. Uh, breakfast store in East Village. Nothing fancy, but I think I saw really special stuff. Want to go Saturday? Maybe grab dinner after. Dr. Reynolds, if that was what I think it was, I'm flattered. But. I can use this one. Oh. I'm sorry, I had no idea. I'll see you. Okay. I don't think he's getting my game requests. Of course, now he gets it. Oh, we take the phrase, Dad, Dad, I hate you. Uh, anytime I say no. Oh, he's breaking out the quasar. Don't be nervous, fucker. What's 
bring me pizza. No, my metro car ran out. Can I get a ride with you? Sure. Sure. I just need to get a patient situated first. You can have my leftovers if you want. Really? No, the pizza in ages. I was gonna go that anyway. Oh, he got the big dog. Oh, he's about to fuck up. He probably got lucky because he hit great. Oh, so close, Trevor. Oh, I over a fucking adjusted. Lucky fuck. Sorry, I'll kick his ass in the shootout. Oh, damn, I don't have the right club. That's all right. Shit. That's all right. That's all right. This will work. Okay, there's M Max. Okay. All eyes on Minneapolis as celebrations erupt. And a sigh of relief from Floyd Fan. No family history ever got this far. 
Ten percent. We're going to move 2.6 rings. Tell that fucker don't be copying me. Fucking great. They tell our very own Tara Campbell celebrations will be happening in homes among family and friends. She joins us now live with more. Tara? John and Lauren, certainly the streets are quiet, and we're right in the heart of North Omaha at the Culture House. This place, its leaders largely led the way last May in the George Floyd protest, and today that guilty verdict still sinking in. He lost this one. Ain't no way he's gonna beat that. Marcy Yates was on the front lines last May when the No fucking way. Pushing for peaceful protests. I'm just um thanks for just being in a position to to have had this space at the time. He's the founder of Culture House, a big part of their mission, teaching people how to properly demonstrate. This wasn't the system working, this was the people's work. And the people did so much to make this happen for one cop and finally found him guilty. Derek Chauvin found guilty of murdering George Floyd. It's the justice they worked and hoped for. I think black people and oh, he black people left. are really struggling with how we celebrate in this moment. What? Tara, now to Minneapolis, where the memorial is growing by the minute at what's now known as George, George Floyd Square. The pavement outside Cup Foods has become the center of protests and community block parties since... What the hell, Trevor? Six leaders, Sharon Chen, here now from the line desk with a look at how Floyd is being remembered. Sharon? John and Lauren, people began gathering today just as news came down today that the jury had reached a verdict. Right now, let me show you what it looks like there now. This is a live look at George Floyd Square. You can see people gathering around. This is obviously the reporter there about to do a live uh, report. But a lot of people have been gathering there. To I don't know who's watching. Flowers, cars, oh, left behind in that street. For about an hour this afternoon, Minneapolis and the rest of the nation waited for the announcement of the jury's decision. As the community gathered around the neighborhood of Cup Foods, news coverage glared from cars and people's phones. Everyone tuned in as Judge Peter Cahill read the verdict. Was this stream live? On all counts. Yeah, I'm just hoping I'm going to enjoy right now. Super, super happy. So, I can't even put it in words. I'm still just yep, okay. I'm back on track. Okay. It feels really, really good. Big victory for us. Hey, Kimberly, what do you think about the fact that you're putting Tell that fucker don't be cheating. Don't be copying me. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, that's bad. All right, Sharon, Omaha Police Chief Todd Schmoder is also responding to the verdict. He says last May it was apparent to his senior staff and him that Officer Derek Chauvin was guilty and his actions were reprehensible. He says the verdict validates those sentiments, holding Chauvin accountable. Okay, we're going to just mid here. Five, nine, four, seven. His office sent us this statement saying that they don't comment on jury trials from other states, but the governor respects the judicial process. Shortly after the verdict, Governor Ricketts took to Twitter to thank UNL Rodeo for helping to kick off Rodeo Week. And Governor Ricketts was also on hand tonight welcoming home seven National Guardsmen who were all reunited with their families after almost a full year of deployment. Now this is the moment that soldiers... I don't think he's going to make it a shootout on this one. Oh, he might. The men worked alongside Romanian allies to gain experience and brought a mutual understanding. All of them left behind children, spouses, and parents, and family members. Ask him, are we playing? Was there to welcome back the crew. I had a best out of five. And they helped me. They helped me through it, and I've been there for them just as much as they they've been there for me. So. Coming home to them has definitely been an emotional roller coaster, but one that I wouldn't miss for the world. Governor Ricketts thanked the men and their families for their service, saying they helped to prove the United States loyalty to allies.
It was sunny, but chilly today, and though the temps are dropping lower tonight. We are expecting warmer weather in the very near future. Meteorologist David Keller joins us now live. David? Yeah, Lauren, a bit of a warm-up on the way, but it's going to take at least one more day before we get there. We are uh, on the chilly side tonight. We've got a few clouds that have rolled into the area, and that has kept the temperatures from dropping too much. We're still holding on to 41 degrees. That's officially out of Epley Airfield. Parts of the Metro are already down to the 30s. 39 Bennington, 38 in Springfield, Thunder, 37 in uh, Council Bluffs already. On radar, we have been tracking some light rain showers transitioning over to uh, some light snow showers. Most of this activity to the south and east of Lincoln now. Southeast Lincoln down into the Tecumseh area just to the south of Nebraska City. You may see some flakes flying in this area, but it's not going to accumulate too much cause too many issues, and that will fade away fairly quickly as we head through the rest of the overnight. The clouds that will stick around. Yeah, he ain't making a shootout. But I do think we drop a little freezing tonight. Ain't let me. Have one more night of cold weather on the way before we start that warm up. We'll show you that in just a bit, John. David, now to the coronavirus. Three more deaths reported in Douglas County today, and the other numbers: 495 new cases reported in Nebraska today. It pushes the number of positive cases to more than 217,000, and seven new deaths were confirmed. 2,222 Nebraska people died from the virus. In Iowa, 502 new cases reported in the last 24 hours. The Hawkeye State now has over 390,000 positive cases. They're also confirming seven new deaths, and Iowa's COVID death toll stands at 5,893. First responders know about getting to a scene fast, but nothing like the speeds that they some of them drive every weekend. The First Responders Foundation race team is ready to start the season. Three compact cars with four-cylinder engines have been modified to compete on tracks around the area. The team raises about $5,000 a year in wins and donations. The drivers are prepared uh -oh. that racing is a He didn't make it a shootout. One is a police officer, another is What's a happening? police chief, and Brad Lucas is an Omaha firefighter. PTSD is a big thing, and, you know, a lot of stuff gets taken off. That's two. So, so we, uh, we export from here, uh, from the foundation. Uh, they run programs for us. So our wellness and resiliency programs and how to teach um, coping mechanisms for first responders is what the program's all about. Team Captain James Cahill made sure that all three race cars carry photos of local heroes who made the ultimate sacrifice. The drivers will take to the track about 20 times oh, the he's... Race by a special race night. That's going to happen July 2nd at I-80 Speedway in Greenwood. That's when other first responders also get behind the wheel and raise money for the foundation. It has been two years since the devastating floods disrupted so many lives in our area. He's about to fuck up. Dawn, the bad memories suddenly popped up for one family. Mike McDonald, I don't think he's going to make a shootout in this one if he fucks up. When the Missouri River flowed into Paradise Lakes, residents had little time to take much. After floodwaters receded, he probably did okay. found few personal items worth saving, and cable boxes didn't make it. Yeah, he did okay. But if he don't know how to play around that tree. But the cost of three converter boxes and one TBR showed up on Jerry's Cox billing app. Charges for missing people and equipment total to $800. All right. Almost on the anniversary of the flood. Max distance plus 10%, 5.4 rings. We're okay. We should about make it. Why in the hell is he using Big Dog? This ball. They have several options. They can call the number on their bill, or they can go online to chat with the representative. Staff at any He's about to fuck up. Can also be helped. Just mention you were impacted. He don't know what to do. Plus, 
meet the U.S. trippers going for gold. And... I feel like it's great that we're getting back. Don't hit the tree. Oh, he missed it. I'm gonna make you on his ass watch if I can get there. Oh, it's glitchy. Oh, it's glitchy as hell right there. Alright, we're at max. No elevation. Five rings. Charter West Bank, our business loan officers provide nearly 500 years of combined lending experience. Let's talk business and help you grow. Charter West Bank, Nebraska born, Nebraska oh. Nebraska <laughs> Shit. How many games have I won? Anyone know? I have to look. I think it's two to zero. Might be three to zero. We're seeing a lot of recovery with our economy right now, and we know we're heading in the right direction. In fact, we have lowered the property tax levy. And our goal was to add 100 more police officers, and we have done that. We added 59 more road projects just this coming year. You are going to be seeing a lot of road projects in Omaha, at least for the next five years, if not longer. I love my job. We've had a lot of progress. That's why I'm, I'm running again. All right. If he shoots first, fuck, he's going to copy me. Son of a bitch. He's gonna copy me. I should. I, I had that under power. Shit. Oh, he ain't no copy me. <laughs> really? What the fuck is he doing? No way, dude. Trevor. How many games is that? Hold on, let me see. How many games I want to get Zima already? Three? <laughs> Zero?
When the last sack is filled, it's a team effort to haul the finished product back out to T-Bird and his van. The whole process takes just over an hour, and when the last load is out the door at Madonna, this is what the students don't get to see. Three times a week, the guests at Sienna Francis' house are treated to sack lunches. And they don't always know where they're made, but I was telling them today, rather than the guests 